Whispering Pines Tree Farm is ready for the holiday season. Angela Kelly joins us live from Okano with more. Hi, Ange. Hey guys, oh, there are so many fun things to do with the kids out here at Whispering Pines Tree Farm. Take a look, they can get a ride on the Whispering Pines Express, take a little tour through the tree farm. Um, over here, they can visit the candy shop and Santa's workshop. Just the outside of the building is so fun to look at. They've got the windows decorated with um, animated characters inside of there. Before you go in that building, get your picture taken like <laughs> you're announced. There you go. <laughs> what do you say we go in and visit Santa? That's like the highlight of the morning. We got to see how he's getting all prepped for the holiday. So we'll let our photographer go in. Good morning, Santa. Good morning. And how the are elves? You? And, and Rudolph? How's everyone doing? We're having a great morning. You are. And um, who do we have here on your lap? I have Paige visiting Santa this morning. Hi, Paige. How are you? What What are you going to ask? Santa for Christmas this year? Uh, a baby, a baby, and a baby kitten. A baby and kitten. And stuff for my baby kitten. Oh. Oh, Santa, a baby kitten. That's kind of a tall order. Oh, those are tough. I have to worry, you know, Mom and Dad might have to help me clean out my sleigh or something if that baby kitten would make a mess. So <laughs> I better talk to Mom and Dad first. <laughs> How has how have preparations been going at the North Pole Santa? Because we're getting into game time here. Oh, the elves have been real busy. They have, they know they're in their last couple of weeks, so they're working harder than ever. The toughest part now is there's so many of these electronic games that all the kids want now. So mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to keep up with all those. Yeah. Um. Overall, have they have the kids been been nice or have they been naughty? <laughs> Most of them have been nice. You know, we get the occasional naughty one, but if they have a little talk with Santa, sometimes we can straighten them out, and they end up on the nice list at the end. Mm -hmm. Santa, when can people come and visit you out here at Whispering Pines? Well, I usually try to get here every Saturday and Sunday. We get here about 9 in the morning, and we stay somewhere between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then I have uh, my friends from Ambrosius Photography come out and visit at the same time, and we get nice pictures with all the kids if they want, and we have a pretty good time out here. I this is so much fun. And just over there in the other room, you can do some uh, shopping for some candy and sweets. And oh, yes. They've got the Bernstein's candies and Uncle Mike's bakery and such great food here. It's tough on Santa because <laughs> just looking in there sometimes, my, my suit starts to tighten up. <laughs> <laughs> can you give us a, a, one of your genuine ho ho hos? <laughs> Page. I want a candy cane from Rudolph. Do you want one? Come on, Rudolph. Don't be stingy. <laughs> Can we get one for Angela, too? Thank you. Too? Thank you. Okay, you guys, we're going to have another live report from Whispering Pines coming up next. We're on the hunt for that perfect Christmas tree. You won't want to miss it. Thanks, Angela. Thanks, Angela. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Santa.